Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to go search for some new plugins. There are so many options when it comes to WordPress and plugins. There are free options and paid options. And in this uh, video, we are going to look at our free options. So we are currently in the, the dashboard of our WPFunnelDemo.com and we're gonna slide down here to plugins. And once we're in here, we can click on add new. And when we add new, we have two options. We can search in the repository by plugging in here and searching for something that we might be looking for. Of course, if we've purchased a plugin from another site or from somebody, you can upload it. You download it from their site, have it on your computer. You can upload the plugin, click on here, you select it, upload it, and install it. But what we're doing is say we need a plugin, and the WordPress repository has so many options. Now, one plugin you should probably get if you do get a website and you want to keep track of your Google Analytics. Uh, there are many, many, many um, plugins that are free that are available to install your Google Analytics info on all your on all your pages so that it'll update in Google Analytics and then you can actually see what type of traffic you're getting, where it's coming from, all that good stuff. So you might end up coming here to add plugins and in the search go Google Analytics. And there are so many options and they start coming up and you can typically, uh, we're, we're looking at the search results here. And what you'll notice is something to always look for when you're looking for free stuff or actually any plugins in the uh, uh, WordPress repository is first, see how many active installs there are. You know, there is safety in numbers. So if you find something that's been installed on 300 sites, uh, unless it's something you really want or really need, I would tend to stay away from it. Look for high. It doesn't have to be as high as 7, 700,000. You know, here's one for 2,000. Um, maybe this is something you want. I don't know. But, you know, anything that's really small, if you start going down like 20 active installs, if you want to try it. But honestly, if only 20 people are using it, chances are it's probably something that's at least untested. The other thing to look at, of course, is the last time something was updated, one week ago. That's always good. And then compatibility, compatible with your version of WordPress. And the repository will always check and see what version you're running. And that's when it says, whatever you are, your version is whatever is running and it will always know. So you, could, you can choose here uh, from any number of Google Analytics based on uh, who's, who's written it. Now, of course, if you always wanna know more, you can click on more details. It'll come up with uh, a page like this. Um, you'll see that the, in the, they'll, they'll say who the author is, last time updated, active installs, you'll have an average rating, you have reviews, you can always look at the reviews, you can click over, it'll kick you to another website, you can look at the different reviews. Sometimes it's good to look at the one-star reviews to see what people complained about, stopped working. That was five days, 15 hours ago. Let's look at that one. Tracking stopped working, unable to verify the site again with this plugin. Okay, that's never that's never a good thing. Um, and you, and you look at the, at the reviews for a, um, let's close this off reviews for a plugin to see what's happening. I mean, nothing's going to be perfect. Nothing is going to have everything that's five star. Uh, typically what you will find is if it's a good plugin, you'll have a lot in the high fours and fives, and then you'll have ones because sometimes the people just, people never go in the middle. They either, they either have such a good experience. They feel motivated enough to leave a positive review and usually a good four or five or they are so irritated <laughs> at the plugin because something's happened and they'll leave a bad review because that's that's their last gasp before they, they, they un uninstall it. And here's a little bit of extra thing. One of the Google Analytics plugins I like is Google Analytics uh, Dashboard. Now you notice if I stop typing, it automatically just goes to. Uh, this one by Alin Marcou, uh, 900,000 active installs, almost a five-star review compatible it's updated this is actually a very a good google analytics plugin uh at uh that's one i use on a lot of my sites uh you notice of the reviews a lot of four and five it's got a couple one star uh and it's up to compatible to 4.73 which is what we're running right now as we're making this video and again if you find a um a plugin like that, that's always a good one. And I'll, I'll give you that one for free. And in Google Analytics, um, search for this one, Google Analytics Dashboard for WP and uh, by Alin Marcou, Marsou, I cannot pronounce it, I'm sorry. Um, 
But that's basically how you look for plugins. I mean, you can always look in here if you think, well, is there anything for Shopify plugins? You can look at Shopify and then see what type of, how many installs. Here's an example. Here's an importer that had 800 plus active installs. It's untested, last updated three years ago. Unless it's something you really want, I would stay away from it. I mean, here's something else. Now, here's a borderline thing. It has 9,000 installs. It's middle of the line reviews, untested two months ago. But, and it's actually, it looks like it might actually be written or provided by Shopify themselves. Okay. And then it's something like this. If you're not sure now, of course, here they say compatible to 4.64. So maybe since it's, they flipped up to 4.7, they haven't, they haven't adjusted it. Um, and then again, if you want to know, you can always look and check on the one star. I look at the one and fives, the four and threes in the middle, but um, it's always interesting to see what the one star ratings will say. So we click through garbage one month, one week ago, uh, total mashup three months, one week ago, everything's embedded via short code. Now, sometimes you'll see comments. Sometimes somebody will do one. If you see more, you can click through and typically there you go. Sometimes the plugin authors will respond what I expected, blah, blah, blah. I didn't expect it. Thank you for the feedback. Many merchants already create their own product pages and WordPress with the buy button only. Um, and, you know, sometimes the authors will come in and answer. So if you ever have, and sometimes it might be somebody has a one-star review, but it's something they just they just didn't know what they were doing. And then you'll see the author will come and say, hey, try this. Hey, it works. So again, like like anything that, that's, that deals with reviews, take everything with a grain of salt. Let's take a look here. And that's it. That's, I think that'll be it. So just so you know, anytime you come in, we just come in, uh, click on... Uh, plugins we go to add new uh, and then you can also go by categories they have featured so you want to see what people are doing uh, popular you will tell you um, there's a good uh, free page builder if you ever need to spend a day farting around with a, uh, a plug-in page builder by site origins actually a really good over 1 million installs they do keep it updated um, and then recommended based I'm assuming on and it, here's another SEO plugin it's a good plugin Yoast SEO by team Yoast uh, I believe there are some free, there is free functionality, but to get the real benefit of it, you have to pay. And it's not cheap compared to others, but it is, it is uh, a good plugin. And favorites. And of course, oh, you could, you could mark them in favorites. So actually you could come in and mark if you have a, a, a WordPress.org username or you sign up with WordPress.org, you can actually mark favorites and then you can come here and look them up. But I think that's enough for this video. I think I touched on this where you look for stuff, you look for active installs, you look for reviews, make sure it's compatible with whatever you're using. And if something hasn't been updated, there's nothing worse than being told to go get a plugin and then find that it hasn't been updated in two years. And you wonder why that person's even still using that plugin. Because the thing about WordPress is as they update it, it will break plugins. And if something hasn't been updated, you're better off finding something that's more current and, and rather than taking a chance on something that's not. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.